I'm here. <laughs> I just wanted to show off my new background. Anyways, today is the start of a new path, the start of a new time because I finally got my mojo back. I'm finally back to working and streaming, which I've been still trying to work, but the whole story. I will be posting a full update on what all has been going on and what all is coming up this evening, probably around 6.37-ish, but nothing set in stone yet. I know it will be this evening, though, um, because there's a lot coming up, and I want to let you all know why I've been gone, what all has been going on, and just everything explain myself i got some explaining to do anyways uh so i haven't really posted a full review uh, review video this year um i've posted a couple review posts on instagram but i'd always planned on doing a video on youtube and since it's officially halfway through the year now, in just a few days, I decided I was going to just put all the first six months together and do that review video now. And if you like this video, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know, do you like this six month mashup of reviews or would you rather me do a monthly review video? or uh, and do you want to see a TBR or a currently reading or anything like that? Let me know below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe uh, button and ring that little bell so you will be notified the next time I go live or post another video like this one and the one in this evening, which is already this evening, but later on this evening. <laughs> Sorry, I got some good caffeine. I got my mojo back. I still have work to do today. I've gotten like phone calls and stuff taken care of. But I was actually going to wait to do these videos. I have split up the reviews into nonfiction and fiction because I could not decide which channel I wanted to put them on where I have this fiction platform and my other non-fiction platform and I really want to showcase these authors on both of my platforms one to bring in an audience of course and two because I have writer and author friends across both my platforms on Instagram Twitter and everywhere else and I'm trying to expand that platform on YouTube as well but I do have subscribers on both ends. So I decided that I would just split it and my nonfiction reviews would be on my nonfiction platform. My fiction uh, reviews will be here on my fiction platform. But in both videos, in the description down below, there is a link not only to my platform here, but to my platform on the other side. So after this video, if you would like, you can head over to my other platform at Nicole Heiser Products because I switched it up this month because I am writing nonfiction books over there, but I'm also doing a creating a planner, a self-development journal. I have many other journals that I'm creating in the future that I already am planning and starting to work on as well as a secret project. So it's a mis ma mixed mash of stuff over there and it's not really just books. So I switched it to Nicole Heiser products over on my YouTube channel and uh, Instagram, everywhere else. Uh, Twitter, however, is my platforms combined at author underscore NLH or NLH Heiser. It's it's in the link, <laughs> um, but I'm rarely on Twitter, so I just put all my posts and all my platforms combined on Twitter so that I can just at least still be doing it. Um, 
So if you're interested in knowing what I read nonfiction wise this year so far, head over to my other channel after this video and check out that video. I just dropped it. And I also was going to just film, download, edit, and upload these videos. But one, that takes hours. And two, I am not only doing review videos of both fiction and nonfiction books today, I am dropping an extensive update video on both platforms as well. And I still have work to do. I still have all my editing and stuff to do today. So, and I got my mojo back. So I have a lot to catch up on. But obviously I have enough caffeine because I'm hyped up right now. <laughs> but I am back at it and I wanted to celebrate by dropping all these videos. And also I was going to wait to do all four of these videos until Wednesday or Thursday. But I am doing my newsletters this week. And I always like to have my newsletters out one or two days before the end of the month. So that any reveals or releases that I show on the first to the public, all my newsletter subscribers always get all the details and information first. So the newsletters come out usually around the 29th, 30th, or 31st of the month. And I want to be able to link all these videos and all these books in the newsletters. And there's probably a way to do it before doing the actual videos and stuff. I don't know, but this is easier, so I'm just dropping all the videos first, and then I am going to be linking them in the newsletters that I work on this evening if I get all my other work done throughout tomorrow when I do the newsletters, and I am hoping to have all the newsletters out on all three platforms to my subscribers by Wednesday morning sometime. So, I have a shit ton to do, and... I'm running out of time. Not really. I'm good. Anyways, you came here for the fiction reviews. So I have, let's see here. Seven books in this fiction review section. Sorry about that. <clears throat> like I said, I'm hyped up, thankfully. But I am going to try to share this screen. Window, this, this. Yay! Why is it so much smaller this time? Here we go. Nope. I'm trying to make this part bare. Oh well. You should probably, you should be able to see that fairly well. Okay. So the first book I am going to showcase today is Ken by Keelan Patrick Burke. I am in a Facebook group, uh, a horror Facebook group, and they just start doing a book club once a month, and everybody downloads or buys the book, and we read it, and during the book club meeting, we discuss it and everything, and Ken, it's the second book we've done, I didn't completely finish the first book, I plan on it, it's, it's in the works, I just, you'll understand when I give an update, but <clears throat> I looked up this guy's uh, socials, and he doesn't look like he has a YouTube channel, but there has been a lot of people that's reviewed his books, so that says a lot. Uh, this book is horror and cannibalistic and if you don't like gruesome gory shit this ain't for you but for somebody that does i actually liked it now some of it can be a little 
dry. Uh, but I'm trying to explain this right. Some sections could be a little dry if you and you could lose focus on the story, but it was the writing style that did it. Now, a lot of people have the same thing to say about some of Stephen King's writing. I agree. I am an extremely huge fan of Stephen King, but some of his writing can be very dry, and some of it can be because he uses such, so many descriptive words and stuff, and it kind of loses you in it. But at the same time, it's sometimes the reason I love it. I don't know. So sometimes they can lose you, but I actually really enjoyed this story. Once you hang in there, it is really good. And there were certain parts and I'm like, what the hell? Like one cannibalism, it'll get you every time just in the shock value. But some of the stuff that happens in this book that I'm just like, okay, I understand, but why that part? Why in that way? Like, what? But it just added to the shock value, and it, it's one of those things that you'll be reading there all of a sudden, you're like, oh, wait, what? And I listened to the audiobook of this because because it is on the book club I, that I wanted to participate in, but I didn't have the money to buy and order the book. I just ordered it on my Kindle in Kindle Unlimited. I didn't have to pay anything. <laughs> so I listened to the audiobook. And I don't actually listen to a lot of audiobooks that are, fic uh, that are fiction because usually fiction... I have to actually have the pages where I can read the words to get into the story. When I'm just listening to it, I get distracted. And that may be actually a part of it, a part of why certain parts just lost me, but I found my way in the end. Uh, that's why usually audiobooks, I stick to nonfiction because I can clean the stuff. I can still retain the information, but I don't have to focus 100% on it. However, <laughs> the narrator for Ken was amazing and he really set the atmosphere for the book. I really liked it. Um, I'm going to give this book a four out of five stars because I really love this book. I really did like it, but I'm not completely sure if the reason that lost me a few times was because it was an audiobook and I can't really do audiobook fictions or because of the writing was dry in some areas. So because of that, I'm giving it four out of five stars, but Anyone that's into the horrific, gore, grotesque, cannibalistic survivor story type of thing, you'll dig this book. <laughs> so I do recommend it. Uh, I give it four out of five stars. I really liked it. Um, hey. Geraldine's Alley by Becca C. Smith. I cannot say enough about this book. This book is exquisite. Um, I connected with the character so much with the anxiety and uh the clumsiness and freaking out when she's talking to a boy and all this stuff and I just loved it and Becca is 
she really is a brilliant writer. I really loved it. And to know that she actually designed and sewed the dress and wore it in the design of the cover. I mean, really? Like, is there anything this woman can't do? For real? I love this book. I gave it five out of five stars. Absolutely recommend it. It was really good. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a new adult. I would say it's a new adult. Um, I guess I should have looked at that. This is the first time I'm posting review videos. So I may not do it like a typical person. Next time I will make sure to have like the genre and the age and all that. Um, you live and you learn. But I'm pretty sure this is a new adult book. A very new adult urban fantasy. Uh, I just love it. And, and even her name. Like, I, <laughs> I see this and I honestly won't forget this story. I won't. Like, it was really, really good. Really touching. I loved it. So, I highly recommend it. Five out of five stars. Gushian. It's code. Uh, Gushian code. I, I probably said that wrong. From the Love and Dark series. This is book three. Last year, I read book one and two. I was a beta reader for Becca and Hannah. Accord, in the accord of Becca C. Smith. Uh, I was a beta reader, so I actually got to read all three of these books as a beta reader, and I cannot tell you how fast I flew through these books. They were incredible. Um, the entire series is entrancing, and I love when you're reading something and then you it has like a little bit of a touch of a historical uh, reference in there, but a twist on its reality. And I'm like, and to someone that absolutely loves fiction to the point that some of the stuff I'm like, no, that stuff actually exists. You can't tell me otherwise. We have only, <laughs> we have only, actually explored 16% of our oceans. You cannot tell me with a straight face that we know what is or is not on this earth. We don't know. There could be all kinds of shit. And as far as I'm concerned, there is all kinds of shit out there that people just there's a lot of stuff that, where does the origin of that story come from? There's always some sliver of truth from somewhere. So, it was one of those things, especially with the history uh, spins, that I was like, you know what? That could have actually been what caused that. <laughs> and even though it may not have been... It's cool to think that maybe all this stuff is in the, is a reality somewhere in some dimension or was in some time. I absolutely loved it. The cover designs on the series is absolutely beautiful. I, I just, I loved it. Um, cannot recommend it enough. And I recommend you actually read the entire series. It is a vampire series a new adult vampire series even though i th think it's actually categorized as young adult but she's in college um <clears throat> but it's a very good series i loved it i recommend it five out of five stars um essence by mandy lynn i I cried reading this book. 
This book really hit me quite a few times. And knowing certain things that Mandy Lynn is into and seeing those things represented in the book in a different way and all the character layers in this book it was just amazing I cried found myself laughing at a couple parts um it was just a really good book I highly recommend it and all these books are going to be linked down in the description below as well as the author's uh, YouTube or Instagram uh, pages are going to be linked down below with them. And Mandy Lynn, I actually bought Essence from her shop on the booklaunchplanner.com and with my code because you can get her books there signed copies with my code you can get 10% off with Nicole 10 so you can either go to Amazon and get her book or Kindle or wherever or you can go to her shop and get a signed copy and 10% off so what are you going to do <laughs> but I highly highly recommend this book five out five stars and as you can probably tell, there's a lot of five-star reviews for me. Um, if I do not like a book, I'm not going to review it, at least not publicly. I may leave a short review on Amazon or something. I'm not going to uh, say a whole lot. I'm not going to criticize or anything like that. Um, if I don't like a book at all I won't review it because no author needs to hear that or see that period um so most of my reviews are going to be three to five stars um all of the reviews I'm posting today are four or five stars I one of my big goals this year was to start reading more and reviewing books as well as buying more books because I hadn't bought myself a book in a long time and I didn't feel like I had the money for it which I still kind of don't but I've been winging it because I've been looking at it as an investment in myself and that is incredibly important and I have bought I think 10 indie author books so far this year and I can't tell you how excited I am when I get them in the mail I've been buying a couple other nonfiction books that are not indie author that I've just been hearing about but especially to support other indie authors like myself and to say that I've already bought 10 indie author books this year is incredible and I absolutely love it and it just makes me feel so good to buy them and invest in them as well as myself so support your authors and leave a review okay Death's Awakening by Sarah Cannon anyone that is a fan of Sarah Cannon please don't hate me I am really late to the game I love Sarah. I love her books. <laughs> but this is the first book of hers I've ever read. <laughs> and I ordered two of her books. One of them was Death's Awakening. I haven't got it in the mail yet. The other one was Witch's Key. I haven't got it in the mail yet. Um, but I didn't want to wait. So I got this on ebook the other day. And I binge read it Saturday night through Sunday morning. And I am incredibly addicted to the series. And I can't wait to buy the next book. In fact, like, I think I'm going to, of course, 
get the ebooks for now because I have a very low budget. But everyone I read, I'm going to pull on my list to buy and just start collecting them all because, like I say, I am very late to the game. This is the first book of hers I have ever read, and I absolutely loved it. Extremely refreshing view on zombies. We've seen zombies done a million freaking times. I love zombies. I love everything zombies. But we've seen it so many times. There's so many people just do the same shit over and over. This was an extremely fresh look on zombies and magic and fate. And pretty sure that's exactly how I worded the <laughs> the review. Like, I loved it. It was very, very good. The writing was brilliant. I loved the characters. I even love the zombies and how she did it and the whole virus that started and everything. I absolutely loved it. Out of five stars, if I could give six stars, I'd give six stars. Honestly, that's the damn truth. I cannot recommend this book enough and I cannot wait to read the next book in the series. Um... This one, Beautiful Demons, I started immediately afterwards. I got the first three books on ebook. So after this book is over, at least I can jump to the next two. Uh, Beautiful Demons, I am not finished with it yet. It is good so far. I put the picture up here because I thought that I was going to have it done before I did the videos, but then I had to rush and do the videos first so I could do the newsletters. So the whole thing. So I haven't finished Beautiful Demons yet. I will give a review on it when it's done. Well, I'll probably start doing monthly reviews, but it just depends on what all y'all like. Um, but yeah, that's the other uh what, that's one I'm reading right now. Is that it? Maybe that's it. Okay, hold on. Let me just check and make sure I covered all of them. Oh, no. I knew there was another one. It just went and click over. Whoa. What in the world? Okay. The thanks went to send it to the internet, so I must have copied the wrong picture. But... That's okay, because out of all of these books, I have Essence in print, and I have Cyborg, The Cyborg Tinker by Meg Latour in print. And my camera is so not doing justice to this cam uh, to this cover. This cover is absolutely beautiful. Um. I gave, I gave Death's Awakening six of five stars. This is six of five stars as well. So far this year, this is my number one favorite read of 2021 so far this year. The Cyborg Tinker. I have never read, like, a steampunk book. I haven't read a sci-fi book in so freaking long. You're like, it's sad to admit it. Um, I absolutely loved it. I loved the world. I loved the characters. I laughed. I cried. There was steam level 10 sexiness in it. And it, it's just 
it's incredible. <laughs> and, okay, when this book was coming out, I believe as part of a promotion thing, or maybe as her newsletter thing, she sent out the first chapter. I can't remember how she did it or where, but I remember I read the first chapter, and I was instantly hooked. And this was last year where she released it. And I, every month since, have been like, oh, I want to get that book. Like, it's been in my wish list on Amazon ever since. And every time I buy stuff on Amazon, it goes in my cart. And I'm like, shit, I don't have the money for it right now. <laughs> and I finally bought it. I was so freaking excited. I started it that night. It was supposed to be started... This was actually supposed to be started next month, but I postponed other books to, uh, to start it because that first chapter hooked me so much. And when I got it, I didn't even realize this is book one. There's more books to come, or at least a book two. I can't wait. I really can't wait. This is my number one favorite book of 2021 so far this year by uh, out of five stars i give this six <laughs> like it's incredible um and like i said i have all the books linked in the description below as well as the author youtube and instagram pages if applicable um also down below for Mandy Lynn's where I told you that I got her uh, signed copy on her website, the Book Lunch Planner. I also have down there with her link, uh, the link to the Amazon uh, books, as well as the, the link to the Book Lunch Planner website and the code Nicole10 to get 10% off your purchase. So, Go check out these books. They're incredible. I cannot wait to uh, review more books. And I've been reviewing on Amazon, Goodreads, and BookBub. I hadn't even heard of BookBub until a couple of weeks ago. And I went through my whole list of books I've read so far this year. I looked them up. I made sure I have reviewed every single one of them on Amazon. Uh, Goodreads and BookBub, unless they were not on there. I think um, Geraldine's Alley, I don't think was on BookBub. I think that's the one that was on BookBub. And I, I like, uh, sent a message to the people of BookBub and told them. And they're supposed to let me know if they can find it on there or whatever. And should actually check into that if not i'll message becca and see if she's on book club because i just want to make sure that if she's on there or whatever that i leave a review because like i said reviews really do help authors out so every book that i'm reviewing i am reviewing on all three places and i am leaving a review post on Instagram and doing review videos on YouTube now as well. So support your authors, get their books, and review them. And uh, I will probably be posting the Instagram review posts tomorrow because I just have a shit ton of stuff to do today. Plus, I want to make some like pretty posts. So I need to find, eh, get on Canva. You know, I already got on there like six times today, so I got other stuff to do. <coughs> Sorry about that. But that is it for now. That's all the reviews so far for this year. Um, like I said, if you want me to do the six month reviews, or a monthly review a video leave a comment down below if you want to see a tbr or i uh, currently reading leave a comment down below 
maybe I could do like currently reading shorts or something. I've never posted shorts. So I don't know. Just let me know what you want and I'll do what I can to make you happy. <laughs> um, I will be coming on here this evening, like I said, around 7-ish, maybe a little earlier, to do a full update on everything that's happened and everything that's coming up. So don't miss out on that. I will be doing a reel on Instagram before I go live like I did for these last two videos. And like I said, if you would be interested in seeing the fiction books I read this year and the reviews for them, go over to my channel at Nicole Heiser Products. Link down in the description below. And check out the video I just dropped over there right before I came over here. So that's going to be all for now. It is 4.18, so I need to clean up some of this stuff, and then I'm going to go get dinner ready. Um, really quick, before I forget, Swift Revenge and Swift Snake are available for 99 cents each as ebook right now so go check it out this adult crime thriller series will keep you up late at night looking into the dark corners of your room wondering if you are truly alone and the link to these books are also in my link down below at my link tree so click it go read it um and I will be talking more about my books as well during the update. So, I will see you there. Bye!